Hello fellow drifters, catching the tail end of the 2022 Hot Wheels here. We have number 232 of 250. We have uh, number 4 or 5 of the Drift series there. And we got the 120240 Drift Wagon. Very cool. Alright. So you can see some images of Drift Wagons. I did not know anyone drifted these things, but I guess if people drift vans, this would even be more logical than a van. Look at that thing. What I don't see is like a highly modified Volvo with exhausts coming out the side quarter panel. Like this Hot Wheels here. This one's got a funky sunshade going on. But they all seem to be lowered with some really wide uh, tires and fender flares and stuff. <clears throat> well. I did not realize this had mismatched wheels, which actually is quite common in uh, racing. So it's got these DTM style aero wheels here, but then it's got old school like stamped steel wheels in the back. And then uh, yeah, obviously the exposed axle I'm not a big fan of, but here you can see these side pipes coming out here, the exhaust and the turbo dump or something. And then it does have fender flares, as you can see, very flared out. And then there's really subtle printing on the side of this thing. I didn't even notice it in the packaging. But it, yeah, 240. What does that say? Fumo Modet Mobel? I'm not sure. Plucci? Maybe these are some people that work at Mattel or something. And then we got these funky yellow windows. And I like the fact that it's got this crazy large sunroof. So you can see right into the interior, which is even a crazier chrome which uh, I guess is because the grill is chrome and then the exhaust pipes as well. But look at that. It's, is there any, what's in the back of this trunk? Are those dogs? I think it's actually carrying like two dogs. <laughs> Drip dogs. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's an in interesting one. Uh, anyways, we got some molded in uh, mirrors. They look okay, actually. And then again, we have a fully modified hood here with some sort of... Uh, I don't know, maybe that's like the cam cover or something like that. So, I'm not sure if a Volvo 240 like this actually exists, but it'd be cool if it did. Anywho, uh, the yellow of the interior is coming over to the lights, so I think that's an interesting way to do it. And then the, the uh, grill looks okay. You can just add some black paint to bring that out. Some uh, details here, they're actually not symmetric either. There's like a little bump here but not on this side here, it's an event instead. So I'm not sure what the purpose of that would be. This side, no exhaust of course. Uh, the door handle detail is recessed, but also sticking out at the same time. And then uh, I don't see a fuel filler, did I miss it? No, nope, don't see one. We have a wing here, some sort of indents maybe for like uh, hinges or something, or just a casting problem. Big post, oh, there's no rear window at all, which I kind of like, it's smart. So now we can see these chromed out dogs, or that's a dog, and is this a kid? No, that's a dog too, but it looks different from that dog. So there are different dogs going on. Very cool that uh, they added the license plate, the Volvo, the 240, and the taillights, all pretty nice. And this one not so great, but it's still better than I could ever paint it, so very awesome. And then again, a really an asymmetric bumper, similar to the front, the bump on this side, but not on that side. So no na no exhaust, of course, because it's coming out the side of the, the body. But some decent details there, I guess. And there we are. So let's do a uh, scale check here. So this website here is a 240 wagon. It's saying the wheel base is 2640 millimeters. So let me measure this thing here. So that's zeroed. Okay. Now. Yeah. I'm going to go axle to axle. I can't really see the bumps there, the protective bumps. Hmm. I would say it's like 41. So 2640 divided by 41. So yeah, 164 scale. What do you know? So this is actually accurate or close to 164. It shouldn't look out of place. So it's very nice to know. Yeah, it's a funky one, that's for sure. I have no clue what kind of wheels I'm going to do for this because it could be mismatched. Maybe I'll just, I don't know, let's see what happens.
Well, here we are with, eh, not the best effort of wheels in my opinion, but they're different. I'll tell you what I was going for. This is actually a Volvo logo here, right here. There's an arrow, but unfortunately it's so, the paint filled it in. It's, you can't actually see the arrow part of it. And this is the outline of the, where Volvo would be written. So there's two elements in the actual logo of Volvo on this wheel. And then the rest, these are just some dome concave spokes. These are perfectly flat. All right, you can see up close, you know, the paint's uh, been worn off by my finger when I was pushing the wheel into the tire. The tire is a separate piece, a little air pocket there as well in my resin printer. So that is what's happening there. I did plus uh, upsize the tires a little bit to fill in the, uh, the gap as well. A little paint, of course. Paint, 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 just paint. I think that's just a, a lightning hole. And now, upon reflection, maybe this is supposed to be like a tow hook or something. But please leave a comment if you can think what this would be, you know, what your theory is. Uh, yeah, they left the back alone. Sorry, all painted. I did uh, add a little red into that, what I assume is the cam cover or the cylinder banks. I, were these V, were these uh, five cylinders, this, this group? I forget, I don't know, I can't follow all this stuff. All right, well, let's look at a few other vehicles. Since I don't like to make any sense, I'm going to show you the realistic models first and then up with the Hot Wheels. So here's a Tarmac Works of a wagon. It's a good old 850 T5R. Pretty nice, considering uh, how thin the molding is and stuff. I think I added my own license plate. No, that's their license plate. Never mind. And then this next one is another Tarmac Works, but it's the old 242 Custom. So this is kind of a mix of the two, right? If this is a 240, 242 wagon, you get the drift. Drift, get it? Uh, I'm full of lame jokes today. Let's uh, get the good old um, Hot Wheels out now. A long time ago, one of my earlier purchases in 3D print jobs was this guy, the T5R before the Tarmac. Well, no, this is just an 850 estate. It's not a T5. This is before Tarmac released theirs, so that's why I bought that one. But I like that the taillights uh, are printed, right? And upon reflection, they're not printed very well. But the headlights are that graphic thing, which I could never do. That's for sure. Uh, I also recently did this uh, Maxima drift wagon with some really garish wheels but they actually match the the graphics kind of with their garishity the other word probably not but i'm making it up now garishity and then we got the good old manga tuner i believe it's called nope as usual i don't know what i'm talking about track manga the manga tuner i think might be the cartoon version of that car Um, I could guess what this is, Torino, but let's make sure. Hey, what do you know? This is Torino. One out of... Every now and then I might actually guess something right. Eh, it doesn't really belong, does it? I kind of feel like this looks like a drift car. It's one of those Bosuzuku kind of styles. But uh, it looks like it would be a good drift car. I don't think this is actually a real car in real life, but correct me if I'm wrong. But the other ones, I guess, are drift cars. Although I couldn't actually find any images of a Maxima wagon that was drifting. But it's not to say it doesn't happen. So we'll get a few more images to look at here of some other Volvos drifting out. That's a nice, nice drift right there, whoever's doing that. And that's just chaos. So Hot Wheels Mainline, again, coming through. Can't complain. It's good stuff. I think it's funny that it's got the two dogs in the back. But really, it's really nice that that huge sunroof lets you actually see the interior. You know, you don't need a flashlight. You don't need to have magnifying glasses or zoom in. Yeah, like I usually do and then the printing on the back is fantastic so very good uh, yeah I'm sure if they do other drift vehicles I, I will definitely buy them 
Alright, so thank you for watching, and uh, keep on sliding.